Nikki Haley's 16%, a trend we've seen throughout the primary season. He just dominates with the party faithful. Among independents, which made up 34% of the overall electorate, a far smaller share than Republicans, you see here, Donald Trump even bests Nikki Haley with independents, 49% to 45%. Yes, she gets close with independents, but she needs to win independents if she's going to win some of these races. Among college voters, again, a 45% share of the overall electorate. This should be a place, as you see, where Nikki Haley gets substantial support, but Donald Trump still wins in North Carolina with college graduates, 51% to Nikki Haley's 45%. She doesn't overtake them there. Non-college graduates, where Donald Trump runs up the score, here you go, it's 56% of the overall electorate that are non-college educated voters. Trump wins 80% of them, and Haley only gets 15%. So, Aaron, Donald Trump wins big with the big shares of the electorate, and where Nikki Haley needs to overtake him, Donald Trump actually edges ahead of her there as well.